Hello everyone, welcome to this video today on Zbench as an estimate of Sigma capability. We will see what Zbench actually means, the different types of Zbench and the sample Minitab output. So what is Zbench? It corresponds to the total probability of a defect. We use Zbench values to describe the Sigma capability of a process and these values are based on a standard normal distribution where mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. Let's look at a process scenario now where usually all the defects of the process falls on either side of the specification limits. Now if we put all the defects on the right tail of the distribution and measure the number of standard deviations from the center to the point that defines the total defects, we obtain the Z-bench value. The different types of Z-bench values are short-term, also called the potential capability. This uses the within standard deviation of the process that is within subgroup and exhibits the current performance of the process, keeping the short-term variation constant. Long-term Z-bench, also called the actual capability. This uses the overall standard deviation of the process and represents the quality the customer receives over a period of time. An important concept to understand here is the Z shift, popularly known as the 1.5 sigma shift. This is the difference between short term and long term Z bench. Larger the difference, more opportunity for improvement. Practitioners usually assume a 1.5 sigma shift that is, a process actually drifts by 1.5 sigma over a period of time. So, Z short term is actually Z long term plus 1.5 or the other way around, Z long term is equal to Z short term minus 1.5. Here is the Z bench to sigma capability conversion table. Sigma capability here is calculated assuming a Z shift of 1.5. Now let's have a quick look at where to locate this on Minitab. We choose Stat, Quality Tools, Capability Analysis and Normal. Enter the details for single column and subgroup size. Enter the lower specification and upper specification limits. We click on Options and Benchmark Z's. And then click OK in the subsequent dialog boxes. And here is the final graphical output. Z bench statistics are displayed under potential within capability and under overall capability. Using the 1.5 sigma shift and the Z bench value quoted under potential within capability, an estimate of the six sigma quality level of the process will be 2.17 plus 1.5, which is equal to 3.67. This is a very important concept and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for your time today to watch this video. You can get in touch with me on LinkedIn or post your comments here. Please do subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. Bye-bye.